Hello, uh, this is Munir Aja. Uh, we'll be recording this short video in English and I will record the same topic in Arabic in a few uh, minutes after this. Uh, this is a very quick video, uh, I hope. Um, we often see reference online and writing by many people's uh, <laughs> project managers, uh, even uh, PMI Chapel that use the word uh, Pumbok, P-M-B-O-K, uh, which is technically is not correct. The proper term is Pumbok Guide. Uh, so I'm posting some um, online question today asking people to see if they know the difference. And of course, we will be posting this video as an answer. Uh, even PMI insists on us as part of their copyright law uh, regulation uh, requirement, whatever you might want to call it, is to use a Pumbak guide. Now, not Pumbak. Pumbak by itself, P-M-B-O-K by itself, is not a correct term. Uh, it's not a correct term to reference the PMI book that PMI published that's called A Guide to the Project Management Body of Knowledge, which is the main uh, document from PMI that's used for certification like PMP and CAPM and others. The proper name of the book, you know, uh, the guide, is called A, A Guide to the Project Management Body of Knowledge. Now, the word, or if you want to make it short, you will say PMBOK guide or PMBOK guide. Why is the difference? Because PMBOK stands for Project Management Body of Knowledge. Now, the word body of knowledge usually is a term used um, in many professions like law and, and, and medical field and other areas. To me, in the body of knowledge for the type of the profession or the domain or, uh, that, or, the, or the industry. So a body of knowledge is quite comprehensive, much more than can be put in a book. And again, this is not our opinion. Again, this PMI insists on this. That basically says that the guide that they publish, which is about 600 pages or so, despite these many pages, it is not the body of knowledge for project management. It's only a guide that focuses on processes and knowledge areas and the process groups that can be used to manage a project or a phase of a project. Um, so, what does it mean? What it means is that in addition to the PUMBA guide, organizations should have other things like their organizational project management system, their procedures, their policies, their governance, their methodology, which we have been calling uh, the OPM system uh, that include all of these things, including, of course, the processes that are discussed in a book like the Pumba Guide. Okay, so basically, um, uh, again, to emphasize and to close, the word Pumba Guide, yeah, uh, is the proper name. Otherwise, if you don't use, if you use Pumbak by itself, technically you are in making this book to be much, much, much bigger than it is. And of course, this comment does not mean the guide to the body of knowledge is not good. We've been talking about these videos many times. This is a very important guide in project management today, and we use it uh, you know, you cannot manage project without the processes that are discussed in, in a book like the Pumbak Guide or ISO 21500 or similar references. So these processes are essential and they are needed. Yeah, we just need to clarify. As you probably noticed by now, a lot of our videos are clarifying some myths or misinformation about uh, the Pumbak Guide. And again, this is not to pick on a Pumbak Guide at all. Uh, it's basically just to clarify some of the misunderstanding because it's not just about terminology, it's about the way we use project management and the way we think of project management. And built on the previous topic when we said if people think the Pumba Guide is the standard and the Pumba Guide is the best practice 
and the Pumbaa guide is the body of knowledge, then why look elsewhere? Thank you.